Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kim F. KeepItMovingFitness.com. I'm going to show you a cute little workout that really tones your arms and your abs at the same time. I find it very effective if you just have a little fun with your workout. You don't have to do the traditional thing. So sometimes I just make up ways to get my workout in but make it challenging and a little fun for me too. And that's what this is. I'm on the ground the entire time and I'm sitting with my fingertips facing forward. Um, you can either do this entire routine 10 times or you can set your clock for 10 minutes and just keep going until time is up. I do both, depending on how I'm feeling that day. Um, so the first move, so what we're going to do is really come off um, our hips, our feet shoulder width apart, one leg up, and we're really going to um, crunch our knees towards our head, so to speak, and just bend our elbows back. Really working your triceps when you bend your elbows and your abs when you bring, bring your legs up. So I'm going to do this 10 times. That was three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to switch legs, of course, for muscle balance and do it again 10 times. One, two, three, four. Really working your arms. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, right so then I'm gonna turn to my side because we're going to kind of go around the world with this workout just because it's fun and I'm a little quirky so I'm coming to my side we're up at first now we're to the side coming off your hips knee bent and then we're going to bring your leg in really working your shoulder blades here by holding your body up crunch yourself in ten times four five six still ten times seven Eight, make sure you breathe and contract your abs. Nine, 10, right? I'm gonna continue around and I'm turning again and I'm on in a plank position, which is my favorite position. Make sure your hips are down, not up. You want your hips down. And then come to your hands and back down 10 times. That's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that was ten. And now I'm going to put my back towards you. I'm going to do the same thing we did on the other side. Really working the other leg this time. Coming off your hips and crunching it to you. One, two, really squeeze everything. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, in. Good job. And now we're back at the top. That whole circular motion is from front to side to back to the other side. That was one time. Usually I like to do the entire thing two times or I'll set my, I mean 10 times, or I'll set my alarm, my alarm clock or my timer for 10 minutes and just keep going around the circle until the time is up. So I completed one circuit. I'm going to go around again. Remember the first time we started at the top, one leg out, crunch up, 10 times. Now I can go a little bit faster this time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, off to the sides, bottom leg bent, top leg up, crunching in. One, two, three, four, five. I feel my butt muscles working too. Six, seven, that's always good. Eight, nine, ten. 
all the way over, going around the world, because we're silly, right? 10 times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All the way to the other side, bottom leg bent, hips up, arms up, and crunch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was two times around. I'm gonna do it one more time with you guys. I want you to take the, make the executive decision to either do all of all the circle, the entire circle 10 times or set your clock for a specific amount of time. It could be 10 minutes or 20 minutes if you're real strong. And keep, commit to doing it for that entire time. It's my last time to do it with you guys and I want you guys to take over and continue after we're done. Press rewind, do whatever you have to do. This is round three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To this side. Bottom leg bent and crunch. One, really crunch it. Two, don't be shy. Three, get your leg up to your face. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, all the way around, and one, two. Make sure you alternate the hands that you come up with when you do this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I keep turning. Other side, hips up, arms up, leg up and crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's it. It's pretty fun, pretty quirky. Not a lot of jumping around. You don't really have to do all of that to get to really get a good workout in. I do recommend that you do this workout uh, two to three times a week. Maybe you can pair it with another cardio workout that you do, but don't do this workout on consecutive days. Switch it up, add it to some running, whatever you have to do. Challenge yourself. Maybe you can start off by doing it for 10 minutes today or five minutes today and work your way up to 15 or 20 minutes. Just challenge yourself, because remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it really does not change you. And that's what this community is all about. I want you guys to click below on the link to see a breakdown of this workout. Also, to join my free newsletter, I always give out exclusive workout tips, exclusive prizes, and other fun things to help you on your weight loss journey or your fitness journey, whatever it may be on my newsletter that I don't give out anywhere else. So, so go sign up, it's completely free, and tell your friends. Keepingmovingfitness.com is the place to go for workouts. Subscribe to me on Twitter, at Kim underscore fitness. I am on in, um, Instagram too, at Kim underscore fitness. I love you guys so much. Keep writing in with your questions and comments, and I'll do my best to do a video to answer all of them. Thank you, love you, bye. Keep going, you're not done with this workout. Keep going, bye.